What's up, y'all? This is Henny, and happy, happy 2021 to you. I hope you and your families are all safe, healthy, had a great holiday season, and ready to tackle this new year with patience, perseverance, and pressure. Listen, today I want to talk about this whole setup right here. I really enjoy putting this thing together. It's basically a desk that I got inspired by my man Caleb Pike over that DSLR video shooter. And I want to show you everything that I have going on in this setup and why it's going to work so well for me for my streaming, music productions, and video YouTube creator content. Let's get straight into it right now. Let's go! <laughs> So to start off, I wanted to be able to have a setup where I could go live, do my music productions live, do my tutorials live, a lot more things live in 2021. So I have it all set up through Ecamm Live using a stream deck. And I'll show you how I put all of this together in a second. But what I wanted to be able to do is have a camera where I can talk to you, you know, have something where I can show you the top down angles, be able to show you exactly how I'm playing and doing stuff, maybe show you a little bit of what I'm doing here on the iPad. Of course, show you the iPad itself, be able to show you the apps that I'm working with, all of those things and then also have a cam over here where it's kind of B bts behind the scenes showing you how it's all going and then i can also flip it into a four screen mode so you can see all of this happening at once and i wanted to be able to do this seamlessly without any issues and uh, being able to have the best audio and video as 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 possible as i you know could so let me show you how I put all of this together and everything that I have going on this desk and around this loft studio setup. Let's get into it. So this is my 2021 desk studio setup for YouTube, music production, live streaming, everything. And I was inspired by Kayla Pike from DSLR Video Shooter to make this all on one desk that can be moved around with one cable. If you can see down here, you can see all of this is uh, using one cable and everything is on the desk. Let's start from the top and let me show you exactly how I have this set up. Starting with the light, this is my Falcon Eyes 18TD, uh, you know, light that I've been using for about a year, a year or so now. It works really well. I really only have this thing at about 15 to 20% power most of the time. And it is on a, like a monitor arm, right? that I have up here at the top. Right here as well, I have a mic, which is my S uh, Deity S Mic 2, and that's on a microphone boom arm, and that's on the same monitor arm as the light. For my top-down angle, I have the Sony ZV-1, and that's basically on another mic arm. So I can basically move this around, do everything that I need to do, but I usually just keep it positioned right there as a top-down angle for my videos. All of these monitor arms are from a company called Viozen. I believe that's what it's called. I'll put the link in the description on everything that I have uh, on this desk. But, you know, for the most part, this is a whole setup with like, I don't know, three or four arms attached to this one uh, monitor boom. And so on the left here, I have my um, IK Multimedia iLouds that I love a lot. Um, and I have it connected on this same type of friction as this, <laughs> as my little BTS angle, which is my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Yes, I still have the iPhone 12 Pro Max, but my daily driver is the iPhone 12 mini. Get at me at the comments all you want. On both sides, I have the micro monitors mounted on these arms and I can move them around. I can position them any way that I want, which is really dope. And the monitors that you see here are these portable monitors that I got from Amazon. They're 1080p, they get the job done. They are not my video editing monitors, but for streaming, for doing most of the tasks that I use my computer with, uh, they, they just work really, really well. They're crisp, they're clear, the color accuracy is just okay, but you know, I do most of my editing on my videos on my iPad Pro. I have them both on this mount here where they can, you know, be swiveled around and they do their thing exactly. But I, you know, I keep them kind of in a V shape to make sure that I have a cool angle 
one for monitoring myself, one for all the other stuff. In the middle, you would usually see my Sony a7C with the 20 millimeter 1.8 lens, and that's what I'm using right now. So that is the uh, camera that I'm using, and it's also on an arm, uh, just like everything else pretty much on this desk. Below on the desk, I have the Stream Deck. And I got hip to this uh, when I was trying to find the best options for, you know, just doing everything live, making sure you can do as much as you can with a, uh, you know, with a live streaming platform. And I love the Stream Deck for what it can do. I love the fact that, you know, I can switch the buttons. Um, I can press and do anything that I need to do at a given time, whether it's Ecamm or, you know, Safari or my mail or using Logic uh, or using this new app called pedal was I'll talk about later on um, or just you know for my ecamm for switching out my video feeds switching out you know some of my overlays starting and stopping the recording all of that so I have that on the stream deck and on my desk here I have a few things that I got uh, from Grove made shout out to Grove made for sending me a few things this is kind of like their um, a little thing where you can put plants or little uh, accessories. I basically just have this, which is their um, the box cutter pocket knife thingy, which is pretty dope for just opening all the packages that I get, uh, as well as an extra USB type C hub. This is from Pergo, the one I've had forever, and my uh, lightning to SD card for importing pictures from my Rico. So I have that there. Um, and then on to just kind of accent the desk I also have two Aperture MCs. They're, they're in candlelight mode, one over there, one over here. Um, and then here I have the MagSafe um, charger with the MagSafe um, holder stand from GroveMade. Man, this thing is a beast. It's heavy, it's thick, and you can literally just put that right there on the, on the desk and it just stays there and it works really, really well. And of course, in the middle here, you see my iPad Pro. It's 11 inch and um, yeah, I still have this as my main, all, everything that I do, most of my creativity, production, video, editing, everything is still on this one device. And I'm using this setup mostly for streaming and you know, normal basic tasks, maybe check email every once in a while, but mostly everything else is on my iPad Pro. Down here, I have my 37 key X key air that I've been using. I have a few of these in the house and I just love these keyboards because they're thin, they're light, um, and you know, they really uh, have good, you know, key travel and I just love that. Over here for my mouse and my keyboard, I'm using the MX Master 3 as well as the uh, MX keys from, Logic, uh, from Logitech. And on the side here, when I'm doing live or if I'm doing an interview podcast or anything else, uh, I have the Shure MV7 that I can just swing right here like that and I'm ready to, you know, do my thing. And with Ecamm Live, it's so easy to switch the audio input. So, you know, I could either be speaking through this mic or I could be speaking through this very seamlessly. And for my chair, I just picked up this chair from Ikea and I saw this little back cushion thingy on Instagram and I bought it and I use it uh, just, you know, to sit on and it works well. I've had very, very expensive chairs in my day and sometimes, you know, just getting a chair that gets the job done is all I need. The thing that I love about the Husky desk is how sturdy and hefty they are. I mean, everything is basically bolted or screwed into this desk and it is just a beast. I've uh, mounted a few things on it. I mounted this little open drawer here and I have the Cal Digit, I think it's the TS3, where I have that plugged into my M1 Mac Mini and I will show you that as I show you the back panel of this whole desk setup. Let's do that now. Here's how everything is connected. For my mic, I have the Sony, I think it's the K3M, and that's just you know plugged directly into my Sony A7C. And I also have a dummy adapter for my Sony A7C as well, just to make sure I'm always powered up. Most of my HDMI adapters are from Camlink, so I have the Camlink adapters here. I do have some that are just, uh, just some straight ones from Amazon. And I basically have it all wired underneath 
the desk. Yeah, so for audio, I have the Audient Evo 8, and uh, it works extremely well for my needs in this setup. And I have it just underneath here on a cage, and that's connected to a USB-C hub, which is also connected to my M1 Mac Mini, which is on a mount here as well. And so that's underneath here, if you can see, all of this is just basically mounted underneath the, the desk. I have a couple of USB Type-C chargers down here, and I did my best for cord management, but it's really, really crazy behind this whole setup. But from the front, it looks pretty dope. The best thing about this whole setup is that I can just move it anywhere I want if I need to um, and position it however I want, and everything moves together because it's all connected to that one cable down there, and it just works Right. Now for accents, I have this uh, plant from Ikea, fake plant that just kind of gives it a little bit of greenery in the space. My wife created this H out of the fairy lights. She basically just took some um, push pins and uh, made it into an H. And I also have a light down here illuminating the space just to kind of give that little vibe there. Of course, Little art here, little Grammys there. <laughs> I also re-upped my Wi-Fi situation and got the Alien, the Amplify Alien, um, and it's extremely fast for the setup at the crib. I have a another plant from IKEA, and just a little light with a Hue light bulb in it. For lighting that I move around my space, I'm using the the Godox. UL150, which is super silent, and I just have it on the Godox softbox, and I use that to sometimes light my space this way, or if I'm over here, um, I can light it over this way, and this is kind of like my minimal production setup, which you might have seen in my silent beat maker videos, which you can just see is uh, set up with another X key, 37 key, and I'm also trying out the Symphony uh, from Apogee, the Symphony desktop, which is amazing, and uh, some MTM monitors from IIK Multimedia, along with this headphone stand from Grove Made with the Audio Technicus. And if you're wondering about these lights that I have here, these lights are made by a company called Music Levels, and a link will be in the description as well. They're really kind of cool LED lights that picks up the audio and uses the lights to show you, uh, you know, just like it would in a, a console or something like that. So these are really, really cool as well. And that's on another Husky desk that I got from Home Depot. And in this dormer area, I have a, another Husky shelving system and uh, my laser printer and just some charging situations where I keep all of my stuff in. So that's basically this whole setup that I have uh, put together and I really like the way it came out. So all in all, you can see I have a lot going on in this setup, but it works and it works really, really well. Now it took a lot to put all of this together just so that it worked the way that I wanted to, that I can move things around the way that I wanted them to, and that I could just be as flexible as possible depending on what part of the room I wanted to be in, or if I just wanted to stay right here and kept it cool. But you know, hey, this is how I'm starting 2021 uh, with a setup that has a whole lot going on and a setup that has barely anything going on. That's kind of my mind state. Uh, it's always like a mini or a max, and that's probably the reason why I could not make my mind up with this year's iPhones. And uh, yeah, I just kind of have that mind state right now of like going all the way in, doing something really extreme, or doing something very, very minimal. Hey. Hopefully I can kind of give you guys some motivation, some ideas, maybe some tips and tricks. You can hit me in the comments, but uh, let, you know, let's discuss about you know how we do these setups and how we can make these things even better or maybe even do them even more uh, simpler if we have the opportunity. But hey, this is a new year. You know, I feel so much gratitude. I feel so much love and appreciation for the community uh, over the last four years that I've built on this channel and I just want to let you guys know that you know you just got to stay uh, persistent you got to stay focused 
and you got to give yourself a little grace. Give yourself a little time to figure out the way that you want to go about your career, the things that you're doing, and also, you know, the life that you want to lead. So, you know, just be patient knowing that there's so much still going on in the world and that a lot of us are still very frustrated. A lot of us are still very fearful. But uh, I think in all, you know, as it, when it's all said and done, as long as we're taking care of ourselves, taking care of our family, uh, being open and honest with ourselves about what this time actually means to be able to sometimes be in isolation or not be able to do the things that we normally could do. Uh, you know, I think we can just truly think back and look back at this time time if you know we're we're fortunate enough to get get all the way through this that um you know this was a moment in time where it let us know exactly the things that we needed and the things that we could do without so uh that's kind of my thing for 2021 i'm gonna keep it moving keep it pushing staying patient staying persistent so uh i wish you guys all well and i'll see you in the next one all right hit them out <laughs>